Hey everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. In this video, I'll be going over how to make a slider in Show It. So, um, this is a template I have on sale now. It's called Daya. Um, we're going to be using that today in the video. Um, but if you like the template, you like the style, feel free to purchase it on our shop. Uh, or on Etsy, Creative Market, whichever you prefer. Um, but we have a really cool slider. This one is a cool cloud shape, which I thought was really fun and cool. That was my <laughs> thoughts and opinions, at least. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, you don't have to do the cloud, but um, if you want a slider just in general, I'll walk you through how to do it. So going to go to a page, uh, what, and you can add this to any and all pages. Um, I am just going to walk you through how to do uh, something similar or something a little bit more basic. Uh, once you kind of have the fundamentals down, you can make whatever design or styling you like. Um, you can use it for portfolios, you can use it for testimonials, you can use it uh, to show like your work. Um, to show your services, anything, and you know, whatever you want, uh, you can do that. So um, first I'm gonna just go here and I'm gonna add a blank canvas just so we could start new. And I'll have this right underneath the cloud nine so we can see how that looks. So once you're there, you're gonna start and let's add a couple items. So, uh, your testimonial can go here. Add something this from your so let's call it that. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the second kind of plus and do the icon. I'm going to go to icon chooser. You've got a couple options here for different arrow designs. You can totally pick what you like. I'm going to go for the traditional arrow. So let's use that. And then I am going to just copy and paste. So it creates a new one. And I am just going to rotate this. Grab it and then, oh, did not make that straight. Maybe do it straight. Okay. And then move that there. So we can center this. Okay, so we can do this, keep that clean. Uh, and let's say you want another image. Uh, let's go, let's say we can use this for now. We'll shrink this down. Put that in the middle here. We'll move this down. So then that's um, like a picture for your, like a client. Cool. Okay. Oh, it looks good. I like this. So now, oh, and then let's just copy and paste this and then just type in client name one. Let's go to textile. Let's go to paragraph. Yay. Go to subheading. Okay. We can leave that. That's fine. So we have this, it looks cool, we like it. Okay, so back to the side panel, you're gonna click these three little dots and do add a canvas view. So this is gonna be your view one. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna click on the mobile view and I'm gonna update this. But I think the hardest thing is um, doing the mobile view. So let me just do this. Uh, 
the subheading for I'll adjust this. Shrink it down a little. Oops. Kind of center all this. And then I think I would like the arrows on the bottom. Um, and so when you are doing mobile views, if you click one, just make sure that it's the same uh one that's on the desktop so this one i have to turn around and the main reason is because the click options are gonna be the same so if you like do the wrong one then it's not gonna function properly okay so i like that okay so then what i'm gonna do is everything except the icons i'm gonna move into the view so i'm gonna Click it and drag, click and drag, and then click and drag. So everything except the arrows I'm going to put into the view, okay? Now that happens in both. And then all I'm going to do is do duplicate, 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 and then rename. I'm going to do view two. Here where it says client name, I'm going to do and you can duplicate this as many times as you want so let's do three and I'm doing the I'm changing just the client name just so you can uh, when we see how it looks you can see that it's actually changing so oh did I just do okay cool change the wrong one that was my bad View three, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just do these three views. Now, where it says icon, or yeah, click on icon, and then go to click actions. You're gonna go to link type canvas. You're gonna do this canvas. And the canvas view is going to be uh, previous for this arrow because it's going back. And then we're going to click this arrow and do the same thing. So click canvas, this canvas, and then it's going to be next. Okay, and that is all. So let me preview this. and scroll down and now you're gonna see look and you can see that it's changing like there's also like the little uh, change but you can see that the client name is changing so you can go back go next go back and then it will loop around this is totally not centered but that was my bad so you can see that and then on mobile this is why I like um, making sure that the mobile is good before you're doing the second views because if you need to change something you can't uh like copy and paste it all again i mean you can um but it's just a little bit harder to like change uh so i like to make sure that i'm happy with how it looks on mobile and then duplicate it so then like the text and everything is in the same place um, for the most part at least so I guess once this thing is centered, that's better. Um, I can also do slide and position. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So again, you can add whatever types of views you would like. You can do just images, you can do text, you can do um, videos i guess really anything that can go into a folder uh can work um but yeah uh, now you know how to make a slider and show it have fun get creative um and again if you are if you like this template check it out in our shop thanks so much